What's up everyone, welcome back to another video. In this one we're going to be going over the best 20 apps for your new iPad mini 6th generation. We have researched and tested many apps from one type of app to another for the iPad mini and in this video we have reviewed the best ones just for you. Welcome to Search Tech. Our mission is to help you get the most out of your tech through reviews and tutorials. If that's something that you're interested in, make sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell to get notified when we release a new video. And there's also going to be useful links below in the description covering everything that we discuss in this video. With that being said, let's get right into it. First up, we're going to have Carrot. And since the iPad still lacks a weather app because we do have something for weather, but that's just a widget on the home screen, if you really want to look into the weather of a city that you're going to visit or something like that, you can always download this app. I totally recommend you to do it because it gives you 7 day weather information including the temperature, wind levels, humidity, and also sunset times. Then we're going to have DuckDuckGo. And for this app, I did put it on the list because even though Safari is an okay option for a browser and it comes installed in your iPad by default, DuckDuckGo is more of a private browser by helping you not get tracked by third parties or get any targeted ads or anything at all. Then we're gonna have Duolingo and the thing is that if you're looking to learn or practice a new language on an iPad, Duolingo will be the best way to go and it's free so that's a big advantage. The app has expanded its choices of languages over the past few years and also you're going to have an option of Duolingo Plus tier. But this is of course for an extra price of $12.99 and this one just removes ads then gives you the ability to download sessions for offline studying but that isn't so important so if you can't really buy the $12.99 pack you're good with just getting the free version. Then we're going to have Fantastical and with this app you have the ability to propose multiple event times to people and have them pick the best event time with a really fancy email and I think that this is a lifesaver. It's also a much nicer and more specific version of the calendar app of the iPad. Then we're going to have Letterboxd and with Letterboxd this one will help you track of everything you've ever watched in case you forget and end up watching something you've seen already. You can also give them thumbs up or star ratings and reviews as well and all your films can be then browsed in a grid that can be filtered by various criteria. It also gives you a lot of movie options in case you don't feel inspired enough to pick a movie to watch and that way you can just see what people are saying about the movie and if it's good or bad and if you want to give it a chance to watch it. Then we're going to have Linea Sketch and the iPad is a great tool for artists especially when combined with the Apple Pencil. Linea Sketch is simpler than many other drawing apps, but that simplicity, I would call it a virtue, since it has several tools and ways to help your creativity flow. Then we're going to have Tasty, and Tasty is an app for recipes that they get from modern day cookbooks, and it achieves this by a way of fast, filterable searches and the smart use of videos to explain you how to do things. So if you're trying to learn new recipes or just learning how to cook in general, Tasty will be the way to go. Then we're going to have Speed Test and Speed Test by Okla allows you to test the overall speed of your internet connection measured in megabits per second. While it may sound like something only a geek or a tech person would use, I think this is really good for you to get especially if you're paying for an expensive plan of internet in your household. If you test the speed of your internet and you're receiving less than what you're actually paying for, that way you can actually call the company and just do a claim on your speed. Then we're going to have sketchbook and from the blank canvas that you started with, there is escape to make all manner of compositions. From photorealistic digital paintings to initial steps at designing the next must have digital gadget. This app is packed with a lot of features including like tons of brushes, you have layers, grids and also perspective guides such as curved rulers and the pencil support on the iPad works magnificent. Then we have Ferrite, and if you do any sort of audio editing, this is an app that you need. 
In addition to allowing for a simple recording functionality via your iPad's onboard mic or just external audio hardware, this is a full feature audio editor that supports multi-track audio and provides access to pretty much all common audio tools for editing, including an equalizer, leveling, and background noise reduction. Then we're going to have Grammarly, and Grammarly gives you writing feedback to make sure that your work is 100% correct in the grammar area. The keyboard for iPhone and iPad works across all of your apps, and there's no copy and pasting required, so it's going to be easier for you to use when you're trying to use it in another app. Then we're going to have Matter, and you can save all sorts of media to Matter, like articles, videos, podcasts, Twitter threads, and more. So after you've read through your media on Matter, you can highlight and send those highlights to Notion, Readwise, or Obsidian, or you can just share your highlights and commentary in a small social network built right into the app. So I think this is a really good social media app, especially if you're trying to find people in the same niche. Then we're going to have Night Sky, and using the app, you can wave your device in front of your face just to see the celestial bodies, which are basically stars and constellations, right on your screen. You can drag through the whole app and see where they are located, if they're above you or below you, maybe to your right or left. Then we're going to have Oak, and this is an app to relax and sort of meditate. It's split into sections for things like meditation, breathing, and sleeping. A stats area provides the goal to track progress with you gaining streaks and winning badges through the regular use. Meditations can be guided or unguided catering for all skill levels. And although you don't get the wealth of options available in some other apps, you can adjust to instruction gender, the session duration, and background noise which to me is pretty good. Then we're going to have Peacock Lite, and for anyone who wants a more traditional calculator, this is pretty much ideal. The interface looks pretty like the one on the regular iPad or maybe the regular phone. But you are going to have more variables like the X or M, you have Cosine, Tangent, and to me this is a better looking app. You're also going to have the options right here on top that allows you to change the conversions such as the length, speed, also an option for the temperature, volume, weight. You can also see the astronomical, mathematical, and universal constants. And in the last option, you can change the theme, the app icon, the digits, and the key clicks. Then we're going to have PS Press. And this app doesn't really need an introduction or explanation. It's one of the most popular apps to edit photos depending on what you're aiming for, such as balancing colors, special effects, and also customized texts. Now on the next section we're going to have three games in a row and also I'm going to leave you with a little gameplay for each game. The first one we're going to have Among Us and this is a game that became pretty popular last year and basically you start off stranded on a spaceship that you must prepare and do little missions for takeoff. The game puts you along with up to other 14 players and well some of the players are imposters and some others are just crewmates. Then we're going to have Call of Duty. Call of Duty Mobile, as its name says, is designed exclusively for mobile devices, and it's a combination of solid gunfights, strategic teamwork tactics, just like the original games. And it's a fun game to play, especially with friends. You can also play it connecting your PS4 remote, and if you need help with that, there is a video of tips and tricks where I explain how to connect your remote to your iPad. Then we're gonna have Mario Kart, and this is another fun game on the list and a classic. Mario Kart Tour is not a not so serious racing game, which comes as a welcome addition to the famous Mario Kart series that are available in Switch and other consoles. You can choose from various characters and also vehicles as you go on all the tracks of the game. And lastly, we're going to have VLC Player, and this is an iPad take on the popular open source media player. On iPad, you're going to have the main use, which is offline playback. Basically, you can load up VLC videos with a broadly speaking, be secure in the knowledge that it's actually going to be capable of playing your videos. So this is a really good option. Alright everyone, so that was it for today's video. If you got some valuable information out of it, please don't forget to give it a like and also leave a comment down below on what you think. 
Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next one.